Hello everyone. On behalf of Indian Institute of Food Processing Technology and the Ministry of Food Processing Industries, I welcome you all for the video demonstration session on processing of smoked pork sausage and the capacity building component of PMFME scheme. Pork is the culinary name for the meat that comes from pig. Pork is eaten in many parts of the world. It is one of the most consumed meat worldwide. Pork has high nutritional value and due to the development of meat processing equipment, it can be processed into many things nowadays. Curing the pig meat increases its shelf life. The main purpose of pork meat processing is to preserve meat and make the meat tasty. Some of the methods of preserving the pig meat is turning the meat into ham, smoked pork, gammon, bacon and sausages. In this video, we will look into the processing of smoked pork sausage. Sausage is a method of stuffing the meat into tubular casings made from the clean intestines. Let us now see how the pork meat is processed. Area An area of minimum 10,000 square feet is required to start the pork processing unit. Machinery is required. Machinery is required are stunner, scalding tank, head dropping machine, automatic hog splitter, toe hog cutter, splitting band saw, circular splitting saw, hand skinner tool, bowl cutter, meat mincer, sausage filler, smoker oven, packaging machine etc. Process Pigs raised in the piggeries are sent to the slaughterhouses after they gain sufficient weight. Stunning The pigs are stunned using electric stunner. Stunning makes the pigs unconscious. Slaughtering Pigs are slaughtered at the slaughtering unit. Scalding Scalding in water at around 60 degrees Celsius normally for a period of 6 minutes loosens the hair. If the temperature is too high, the skin will be cooked and it becomes difficult to remove the hair. The carcasses are clean to get rid of all the hair from the skin. Singeing Singeing is a process of burning the superficial skin lightly. Singeing removes any remaining hairs and sets the skin. It also decreases the microorganisms and leaves an attractive clean appearance. It may be done with a handheld gas torch. Meat processing. After singeing, the head is cut with a head dropping machine. Internal organs are removed from the stomach and chest cavity. After this, the hog and the saw toes are removed. Cleaned carcasses are then sent to the cutting unit. At the cutting unit, the skilled workers cut the meat away from the bones and tendons. The heads and legs are removed from the torso. It is important that the meat used to make sausages should be lean without much fat so that the red meat is separated from the skin and the meat is further chopped into pieces. The chopped pieces are then taken to the grinding machines. The meat grinder converts the meat into uniform meat particles. Based on the requirements, the meat is grinded coarsely or finely. After the grinding, the meat is blended using a meat mixer where ingredients like water, salt, spices are blended with meat. The blending determines the taste and the texture of the sausage. At the next level, the stuffing is done using a sausage filler machine or a sausage stuffer. The blended meat is filled in the sausage casings. The next stage is smoking the sausages. It is an important process where the meat is cured using heat and the sausage gets its flavor and aroma. The traditional smoking methods have been replaced with modern ovens with controlled temperature. Packaging Once the sausage is smoked, they are packed at the packaging unit as required for the delivery. Sausages are widely used as appetizers in sandwich or bread rolls. They can be cooked as main course with a stew 
or the meat is extracted from the sausage to cook as dessert. Till now, what you have seen is the modern processing of pork sausage demonstration video and a PMFME scheme. The Ministry of Food Processing Industries, in partnership with the state and the UT governments, has launched an All India Centrally Sponsored Prime Minister Formalization of Micro Food Processing Enterprises Scheme for providing financial, technical and business support for the upgradation of existing micro food processing enterprises. For more details, please visit our web links.